It is a pretty low crime. That New Mexico family really wants that crucifix back. They've had it for more than a decade, and there's a very special story behind it. Here's News 13's Rebecca Atkins. Well, Kim, the family finds it strange that someone would steal a religious item. They also find it offensive. It's almost peaceful. As wind chimes sing through this quiet Grant Street, but inside this home, the Rodriguez family is feeling uneasy. It's just like something's been taken away from us, something very personal. Viola Rodriguez says she and her husband are devout Catholics. He wears a cross around his neck, their faith clearly displayed around their home. We also have the Ten Commandments here. Even on their front porch, this crucifix replaced the original that vanished weeks ago. We'd had that cross for like 15 years. You know, we were pretty attached to it. Here's a photo of the cross. They bought it from a Native American artist while they were out at a restaurant. It's made out of like tree limbs and, you know, it was, it was vintage somehow. It had a rosary hanging from the top. We felt like um, he was guarding our house, like, and our family. But thieves took that security away. As the time went by, this couple of days, then I started feeling like I wasn't safe anymore. At first, she was mad that the crucifix was gone, but now she just finds the whole situation strange. I can't understand people that would actually come and take something like that. They now lock all their doors at night. If they could do that, what else can they do? And although Rodriguez knows they likely won't get the crucifix back, she hopes it's in good hands at least. Somebody that will care for it and will probably eventually have the same feelings that we have for it. And the Rodriguez's tell me they are even considering getting cameras to help catch the thieves if they come back. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Rebecca. Now, Grants police tell us they haven't gotten any other reports of religious items disappearing beyond a string of cemetery thefts a few months back.